I'm Simon Burkett, Founder and Director of Clean Air in London, which campaigns for full compliance with World Health Organization guidelines for air quality throughout London and elsewhere. Air pollution is much worse than most of us have realised at up to three times World Health Organization guidelines and legal limits in our cities. So what are we talking about? It's important to think in terms of one atmosphere, which are greenhouse gases and local air pollution, with the latter split between particles such as PM1, PM2.5 and PM10, and gases, and of those, nitrogen dioxide is really the only one which is regulated for health and legal purposes. Of course, particle levels will tend to be highest in China, India and Eastern Europe. But scientists say that many roads in Europe will tend to have the highest levels of nitrogen dioxide in the world, principally due to diesel fumes and gas heating and cooking. This matters. Globally, the World Health Organization says that air pollution is the biggest environmental health risk it says that there are 3.7 million deaths every year attributable to outdoor air pollution and 4.3 million deaths attributable to indoor air pollution. Air pollution affects everyone. For children, it can mean learning difficulties in schools or permanently reduced lung size. And for adults, it can mean heart attacks or strokes from short or long-term exposure to air pollution. In October 2013, the World Health Organization classified airborne particles as carcinogenic for humans. Importantly, there's no safe level of exposure to airborne particles, and different forms of air pollution and particles affect different people in different ways. The very fine particles, like PM1, penetrate deep into the lungs, inflame the cardiovascular system, and can reach the brain and other vital organs. The World Health Organization is in the process of revising its air quality guidelines over the next two years. There is no silver bullet to tackle air pollution, but we do know that we must reduce it at its sources. The most important thing is, of course, to advise people about the dangers of air pollution and give them advice about how to protect themselves and reduce pollution for themselves and others. Cleaner in London is very pleased to support the Take a Breath campaign by one of our sponsors, Camfil, which aims to build public understanding of indoor air quality with advice for people about how to protect their health.